Here goes Danny Olmo in behind. Look at the pace from Danny Olmo. It's actually incredible. What a run from the Spaniard as he finds Marcus Rashford. It's a stunning goal from Leicester City. We're going to trust our captain, our leader, James Madison, to take this penalty. Can he convert? He better convert this. Madison goes left and let's go, boys. We've taken the lead against Man City. So this is it, the end, the finale of the Leicester City career mode series and this is episode number 46. We are in the Champions League final up against Real Madrid, a chance for us to be crowned champions of Europe, a chance for us to win the Champions League. Last season, we were unsuccessful in this task as we lost to Liverpool in the final, but here we are once again up against Real Madrid in this final. Last episode, we secured the Premier League title by beating Man City in that final league game. We got the job done, we won the Premier League and now all that's left is the Champions can we win the most important club competition in the world? Let's find out. So yeah, this is it, the final episode of the Leicester career mode. It's been an incredible journey. I've enjoyed recording and uploading this series so much. You guys have shown incredible support as well with likes and comments and of course subscribing to the channel. It's been unbelievable. And if you guys can smash that like button one last time on the Leicester career mode, that would be unbelievable. I'm not going to be setting a like target or anything, but if you've ever enjoyed any episode of the Leicester Career Mode, make sure to drop a like in the video. And if you are new around here, subscribe for more FIFA 20 Career Mode content. Just to let you guys know, although we're wrapping up the Leicester City Career Mode today, we're going to be starting a Brazil Career Mode for the World Cup 2022. It's going to be like a two or three episode series, which we are going to start this Monday. And then next week, probably Friday or Saturday, we are going to start a brand new career mode with AC Milan, which I'm genuinely so excited about. It's going to be amazing. After we've wrapped up the Champions League final, we're going to have an end of season awards ceremony. So do stick around for that. For now, it is time for the final press conference as Leicester City boss. First question, Timo Werner is at Real Madrid, meaning you'll be facing him in the Champions League final. Yes, that is right. We'll be coming up against former Leicester City player Timo Werner. And it's going to be a bit emotional because Werner did give us a really good season. In our second season of this career mode, he scored so many goals and replaced Jamie Vardy in fabulous fashion. But the thing is, in the third season, he kind of dropped off and we replaced him for Rashford. So it's going to be a tough one playing against him. I'm really eager to see that if he scores against us, will he celebrate or not? And also another interesting thing, Marcus Rashford will also be playing against this former side Real Madrid. Remember when we signed him, he was a Real Madrid player. So it's going to be interesting to see the two strikers face each other. Next question, after that match-changing substitution of bringing on the elements for Zaha and putting Olmo on the left, which won you the Premier League, will you consider starting Olmo on the left in the Champions League final? I know it's a risk, but you know what? I'm going for it. I'm going to be benching Wilfred Zaha in this Champions League final and I'll be starting Danny Olmo. I feel like he completely deserves it. And I just realized that Danny Olmo has got 95 pace. So, it's it's he's a pretty pacey player. In fact, he's actually faster than Wilfred Zaha. So... We're going to start Olmo. He'll give us more control in midfield as well. We'll start the elements as well. That's going to be the plan. And maybe around the 60th or 70th minute, bringing on Zaha could be the right play to hit them on the counter. That is what I'll be looking to do. So to answer your question, Danny Olmo will be starting this final. Final question. Stop passing when you win the ball in your own box. Just shoot it away. Well, unfortunately, that is something I cannot do because it's not practical to play that way in FIFA 20. Because if I do play that way... Whenever I win the ball back and I just clear it away, the ball is going to go right back to my opponent and the cycle continues. And to break that cycle, I've got to be bold and brave to try and build from the back. Yes, I'm going to be making mistakes a few times, but as you would have seen this season, playing that way has generated so many chances for us on the counter because we move the ball so quickly from the back to, of course, the front line. And that's how I'm going to continue playing. It's been really successful for us, this style of play. We won the Premier League and now we're in the Champions League final. I'm not going to start just hoofing the ball over like the entire midfield and hoping that it lands on one of my players. That's not me. That is not how I'm going to play. But one thing I do want to improve upon is like clearing the ball when it just absolutely needs to be cleared. Like last ditch situations and all that. 
That is something I do have to improve upon. But anyways, that's it for the press conference. Let's move on. The final player of the episode award had to go to the club captain, James Madison, our captain, our leader. Last episode, he scored a couple of penalties against Man City in that all-important Premier League title decider. Was amazing in the last episode and no wonder you guys voted for him as your player of the episode. A quick look at our season objectives. As long as we win the Champions League, we'd have completed four objectives, which means no four feet needed. But if we can score like three goals between Sancho, Rashford and Zaha in that final, we'd have completed the Trident Challenge as well, which will be brilliant. Let's see how many objectives we can complete at the end of the episode. Oh man, I'm genuinely so excited for this final. Last season, we came short. We couldn't beat Liverpool, but here we are with a stronger team, with a more complete side, and we're ready for this final. We are absolutely ready. Let's take a look and see how we managed to get ourselves into this final. In the group, we had to face the likes of Milan, RB Leipzig, Shakhtar, and we of course topped our Champions League group. In the round of 16, we demolished Leverkusen 6-1 on aggregate. And then we made it past Spurs 5-1 on aggregate. We also managed to get past Atletico Madrid, knocking them out 3-1. And well, with that, we are in this final up against Real Madrid. I'm ready for this. Real Madrid, on the other hand, had a brilliant season in La Liga. But unfortunately, they couldn't win the title because Barcelona ended up doing an invincible season by not losing a single game and they managed to win La Liga with 110 points. So Real Madrid actually lost out on La Liga after achieving 108 points. How crazy is that? It does look like Marcus Rashford is going to end up winning the Champions League's golden boot with 8 goals in 9 games. It would be completely deserving if he does that. I'm hoping it happens. It should happen because there is no Real Madrid player even remotely close to Rashford. So. That's brilliant. Eden Hazard is probably the danger man because he's got six assists for Real Madrid and is the top assister. So we've got to be careful of him. Will we see more of Soyuncu? Interesting questions coming in in this press conference before the final. Uh, no, I will not be using Soyuncu in this final because I'm going to be using Soansabe. He's been our main man this season at the back and he's been much better than Soyuncu and I'm going to continue using him. Here we are guys, our final game of this series, it's Leicester City versus Real Madrid, Champions League final, our second final, we've lost it once before, we cannot lose another one, we just cannot let that happen, this needs to be a trophy that comes home to the King Power Stadium, let's make it happen and this is how I've got the team lined up, Marcus Rashford leading the line, Danny Olmo and Sancho on either side, I know it's a bit of a risk starting Olmo on the left considering Zaha has been playing that all season and long but I feel like we need all more in this team to you know get control over Real Madrid. Tielemans and Madison in the team. Madison of course captaining the side and Didi in that water carrier role. Chilwell and Ricardo Pereira as our fullbacks. Tuansebe makes a start in this final alongside Rafael Varane, Onana in goal. This is our team, the team that got us here. Let's get into this final. Leicester City versus Real Madrid Champions League final. Although we've got experience of being in a final, Real Madrid have done it, what, 14 times? Probably even more, including some of the finals they may have lost. It's actually incredible, their history in this competition, and we are going up against them to try and win this final. It's Leicester City versus Real Madrid. Take a look at how Madrid got here to this final. They knocked out Dortmund. They knocked out Barcelona. They knocked out City, and here they are in this Champions League final and now we've got the anthem here to make this final even more epic. I'm ready for this man. I am absolutely ready for this. Let's take a look at Real Madrid's team. This is the Madrid team we're up against. Harry Maguire at Real Madrid. I'm sorry, what? They've got Timo Werner and he's not even starting. Interesting, they've got Jovic starting ahead of him. Hazard and Odegaard on either side. Odegaard starting is interesting. Pogba, Bruno Fernandes and Marquinhos playing DM. That's a quality Madrid team, man. They've got Maguire at the back as well. Here we go, man. Champions League final. Our final game with Leicester City. Can we end this series on a high? Hopefully. I've said this many times in this series, but I'm saying it again. An early goal is what we need. It could prove to be extremely vital for the morale of our players and also for our situation in this time. We're playing against Real Madrid. We need any sort of advantage that we can get. Eden Hazard on the attack for Madrid, they're playing some good football now, it's Marquinhos down this left side, cross comes in and I think Marquinhos was offside anyways but Madrid so far have dominated the game at least in terms of possession, 
No chances at all so far in this game for both sides, but possession wise, Madrid are winning the battle. You could definitely create something off this as Marcus Rashford is sent through on goal. Rashford 1v1, can he score? No, Courtois makes the save. We cannot be wasting chances like that, man. That is a hard one to take. Rashford needs to be scoring that. Once again, we go on the counter-attack. Olmo looks to find Marcus Rashford who controls it well. Rashford does brilliantly. Goes for goal. He's beaten the keeper from ridiculous range. Marcus Rashford makes it 1-0 against Real Madrid in the finals of the Champions League. Our best signing so far in this series. I know he's been here only for six months, but the impact he's had is crazy. To score in a Champions League final as well, unbelievable. Marcus Rashford there was so good. Beat the defender with ease. It was Harry Maguire actually. He used the fact that he's a lot more faster than him, more agile than him. Got it onto his right side and then banged it home. Let's go guys. We've taken the lead in this Champions League final. Absolutely incredible scenes. Looks like the tables have turned. We're now keeping most of the possession of the game and we've got to keep it that way. I'd love to control this game and dominate Real Madrid. And now we're on the attack yet again. Here's Madison. Look at the pressure from Real Madrid. They aren't giving any time or space to our players. But now we might be able to conjure up something. Here's the elements. Goes inside to Sancho. Sancho turns his man up. But Matip read that well. Real Madrid slowly but surely trying to get back into this one. As it's Martin Erdegaard on the attack. Goes wide to Luka Jovic. Look at his pace. Seems so quick there. Cross comes in. Onana touches it away. And it's going to fall to Marquinhos. Who takes a good touch to bring it inside. Cross comes in again. So Ansebe read that one well. Madrid are, you know, getting back in this game and it's getting difficult for us. Cross comes in from Erdegaard. We do get it away only for Bruno Fernandes. This is not good. Fernandes shoots. It's blocked off. Still a chance for Madrid. Pogba again. What's going on here? Luka Jovic bangs it home. Unbelievable there from the Serbian. Wow, what a finish from Luka Jovic. And it's 1-1. And game on. And to concede just before the halftime whistle is frustrating. But... Look at that for an assist from Pogba, flicks it to Jovic and then it's, it's just a surreal finish. I mean, look at that. He caught that one perfectly. There was no chance Onana was keeping that one out. To be fair, he should have done better there, but it's 1-1. It's halftime in this Champions League final and it's been a crazy difficult game. Real Madrid have kept a lot of pressure on us. We somehow took the early lead, but then they responded well just before the halftime whistle. This is going to be a very long 45 minutes, man. Madrid are going to give everything. We've got to be ready as well. So far, it's been a very even game. Pretty much the same amount of shots. We've kept a bit more position. It's been difficult. Oh, here we go with Rafael Varane putting in a strong challenge against this former side. Goes to Ndidi. This could lead to something. Now it's Marcus Rashford controls it well. Rashford goes for goal. A second in this Champions League final. Absolutely unreal from Marcus Rashford. He's doing it against this former side and celebrates in style as well. Rashford with his second of the game. And Real Madrid are back to being a goal down to us. It's Leicester 2, Real Madrid 1. We're using the fact that Harry Maguire isn't the fastest of players. And Rashford takes complete advantage of that. And with that, puts us into the lead. 2-1 against Real Madrid. Marcus Rashford with his second of the game. This is insane. Rashford is turning it up in a Champions League final. Crazy scenes right now. Oh, this is not good, guys. Madrid on the attack. Here's Martin Erdegaard. This is not good. Suanzebe with a strong challenge but falls down there. That's awful. But thankfully, the shot was awful. An easy save there for Onana. Now, here we go, guys, on the counter-attack. Real Madrid have committed way too many players forward. And now Sancho is causing them problems. Cut back for Tielemans, who shoots. Now, maybe Madison on the rebound. Gets the shot off and somehow has scored. Leicester City make it 3-1. And it's our captain, our leader, James Madison, who comes up with the goal. Going straight to the stands to celebrate. Leicester City 3, Real Madrid 1. That could be the goal that wins us the Champions League title. How on earth did Madison pull the shot off there? Let's have a look at the replay. Poor defending from Real Madrid. Madison took complete advantage and drills that one home. He's now scored in a Champions League final as well. Incredible scenes. Leicester 3, Real Madrid 1. I still cannot believe this, guys. Now we've got to defend for our lives for the remainder of this game. We know Real Madrid need to push forward now. They need to score us ASAP and we've got to take advantage of that. But come on, man. We've literally gifted Real Madrid a goal there. That is just awful. Like... Literally after scoring and making it 3-1, we've cut our advantage by half. It's now Real Madrid 2, Leicester 3. We still have the advantage though, but it's frustrating conceding a goal like that. Varane kept Jovic offside. And also, what about that for a finish from Luka Jovic? Crazy good from the Serb. 
This is not good, guys. Now Madrid have completely turned it up a notch as here's Erdegaard putting in a very good cross. Ricardo Pereira saves the day there with an amazing clearance. And we survive. Madrid are putting so much pressure on us. It's actually scary. Oh, this is intense, man. Just 40 seconds remaining. Referee, just blow the whistle, man. I don't want to deal with this. What's going on here? I'm just clearing the ball away. And that should be it, guys. Referee, please blow the whistle. Or, in fact, we might have a chance here. Here's Marcus Rashford. No ref. Just, just, just blow the whistle. And it's done. Champions League winners in this series. Leicester City have done it. We have done it, guys. It's taken us three seasons, 46 episodes. But finally, we've done it. Champions League winners. I cannot believe this. We've done it, guys. We've actually done it. 3-2 in this final against Madrid. They put up a big fight, a tough fight with Jovic scoring twice. But ultimately, Marcus Rashford being utterly ridiculous in this game has won us the Champions League. Absolutely insane. Champions League winners. Premier League winners. Carabao Cup winners. We've now completed the treble. This was our final game of this series, man, and it was memorable. What a game of football this was, and we're going to have James Madison, of course, our captain, our leader, lift the trophy to end off this series. This has been one of my favourite series to record, and I'm so glad we ended off by winning the most prestigious club competition in the world, the Champions League, and Madison lifts it up in the air. Leicester City have won the Champions League for the first time in their history. A post-match press conference after being crowned champions of Europe. This should be interesting. What an amazing run. Any final thoughts? I'm just going to say such determination and force to beat Madrid, a team that have been so successful in this competition, required those two characteristics and this team had them in abundance and that's why we got it done. Leicester City emerges UEFA Champions League winners. Never thought we'd be seeing this day, man. Absolutely unreal. We've pulled it off. We've absolutely pulled it off. Champions of Europe. And looks like we've got Marcus Rashford giving an interview after performing incredibly well in that final, scoring a brace. What a man. What a hero for us in this series. It's been a crazy season, man. We won the Premier League in ridiculous fashion. We won the Champions League as well. And we also won the Carabao Cup, effectively completing the treble. Crazy. And Marcus Rashford deservedly takes home the Champions League's golden boot by scoring 10 goals in this season's competition. Assist-wise though, Hazard was the top assister, Olmo did come close with 5 assists. It's taken us 3 seasons to build a Champions League winning team, but here it is, the team that got it done in the most prestigious club competition in the world, Rashford up top, who's 88 rated by the way, we had Zaha who's 85 rated, Madison who's 89, the elements who's 87 and Didi who reached 86. I would have loved to see Didi be higher rated, but oh well. Sancho reached a 90 overall. Pereira reached 87. Varane 91. Zwanzebe 82. But he plays like a boss, man. What a guy. Ben Chilwell 88. Onana as well. And this was the bench that we had this season. A crazy good bench with a lot of quality. Haaland who's 85. And in the reserves, more talents like Ian Morgan, Dennis Pryde. And also a bit of appreciation for Jamie Vardy. We didn't use him this season, but the last two seasons he was unreal for us. What a man. Let's now take a look at all the stats of our players from this season and then we'll have the end of season awards ceremony. Interestingly, Erling Braut Haaland ends the season as our top goal scorer with 24. Probably only because Rashford joined midway through the season. He scored 22 times. I mean, it's crazy how he's only played half a season yet has scored 22 goals. That just shows how good he's been. James Madison coming in with 18, our third top scorer. Sancho with 18 as well. Zaha with 17, Olmo with 10 and so on. Now assist wise, it's our captain, our leader. James Madison who ends up as the top assister. We've got Olmo coming in with 18. Sancho coming in with 13. Zaha coming in with 11. Alright, it is now time for the end of season awards ceremony. Time to honour some of our best players of the season as well as this series. So, starting off with our first category which is going to be best young player of the season. A couple of nominees for this. Erling Braut Haaland who ends the season as our top goal scorer. And of course, Jean-Claire Todibo as the second nominee. Again, Todibo was so good at the back when never given the opportunity. Those two are your nominees for best young player of the season. Click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. The second category is going to be goal of the season. Now, we've scored some screamers this season, but these two goals, in my opinion, were above the rest. They were scored by Haaland and James Madison. First, take a look at the goals and then make your decision. 
Oh my god, this is a lovely position to get a free kick from. Can Madison score this one? It's decent. James Madison, oh my goodness, our captain has just scored a ridiculous free kick to put Leicester City into a 1-0 advantage. Once again, Haaland on the ball, who looks to be in great form. Haaland goes for goal from a difficult angle and he's put it in. Erling Braut Haaland with a potential goal of the season right there. Incredible scenes. We are toying with Watford in this cup final now. A free kick and a ridiculous left-footed effort from Haaland. A difficult choice to make, but it's up to you guys to decide. Vote for either Madison or Haaland by again clicking the i button on the top right of your screen. The next award is going to be an important one. Best player of this season. So, couple of nominees once again. Madison had to be nominated for this. I mean, how important was he for us this season? He scored in this season's Champions League final, scored twice against Man City, and not just that, top assister, third top scorer. He was our captain, our leader. I've said that way too many times in this episode, but anyways, he was that good. He had to be nominated. Your second nominee is going to be Rafael Varane. Defensively, we were just something else this season. That was the main difference between us this season and last season, our defence. And the main reason we were so good was the signing of Rafael Varane. And he was an absolute unit at the back. He had to be nominated for this and that's why he comes in. I would have included Rashford but the thing is he joined midway through the season. And that's why I kind of feel like Varane deserved it a bit more. So it's between Madison and Varane, player of the season. Again, click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. Now we're moving into more interesting categories and this one is going to be best transfer of the entire series. Now there were a lot of players to choose from but I've gone for these two because I feel like they've had such an important and amazing impact and I've been pretty reasonable signings as well in terms of pricing. So the first nominee to Anzebe. We signed him I think in our first season here at Leicester City back when he was like below 75 overall. And he's finished the series being our most important centre-back along with Rafael Varane. It's actually crazy. And although he's only 82 rated, the guy plays like an absolute monster in this game. And that's why I feel like for the prize and for the amount of time we've used him, he deserves to be nominated. Your second nominee is going to be an interesting one. I've gone with Marcus Rashford. And although I've only played six months with him, the impact he's had has been tremendous. He scored the most goals for us in the Champions League this season, winning the Golden Boot of that competition. Amazing in the Premier League. He's been unreal, man. For the price we paid for Werner and all that, I think it's been completely worth it. So Rashford is your second nominee. Make sure to vote by again clicking the I button on the top right of your screen. The final category is definitely a bit of an emotional one. Player of the series. So three seasons here at Leicester, I feel like these two players have had a lasting impact and have been better than the rest. First one, it's an icon. It's Jamie Vardy. He's been such an iconic player for us in this series. In the first season, if you guys remember, he broke all sorts of records, scoring, what, 37 goals in the Premier League, which was absolutely unreal. He has to be nominated. What a man he was. He also helped us lift our very first trophy in that Carabao Cup final last season. So he had to be nominated. Second nominee, Madison. He's been from day one with us. He ends the season off captaining the side, scoring in the final. He had to be nominated for player of the series. So those two again are your nominees. Make sure to vote. Look at our record with Leicester City, man. It's crazy. One league title, two domestic cups and one continental cup, which was, of course, the Champions League. Our record transfer fee was 95 million. That's crazy. Our biggest win, 6-0 against Southampton. Our biggest defeat, 5-1 against Man City. We've played a total of 165 games. We've won 129, drew 20, lost 16. We scored 395 goals that's crazy and conceded 143 but what a record to have season goals wise it's been an interesting episode we missed out on completing the trident objective by one goal that is tough but at least we won at the champions league which means we completed the best in the world challenge so we end up completing four objectives which means no need to do any sort of four feet and with that, well, that's that for the series. It's been an emotional ride. It's been a long series, 46 episodes. And I'm really hoping you guys enjoyed this one. It's been a lot of fun to record. And I think it's been a tremendous success. I mean, we ended up winning the Champions League and the Premier League. I mean, it's been crazy. Your support has been amazing as well with the likes, the comments. And of course, just the growth this channel has had over the course of this series. It's been nuts. And I can't thank you all enough. Hopefully you guys are going to be excited for the brand new AC Milan career mode series coming next week to the channel. Until then we've got the Brazil career mode so content's going to be plenty on the channel but 
that's that for the Leicester career mode. It's been so much fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop a like on the video if you've ever enjoyed the Leicester career mode. Subscribe if you are new around here. And I'll see you guys next time in my next career mode.